Yo, what it guys, we're back here for another episode of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. You guys, season 2, episode 14, Heart of Evil. Last episode, we left off with Krampus. It was basically a whole ploy by the Scooby-Doo gang to steal the other parts of the planospheric disc for Mr. E, that dumb parrot, and his uh, goddamn real parents. And honestly, the play was magnificent. And now we got all the pieces. I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen now. Uh, Nubiru, that name's always been throwing around. So let's get into this thing. Let's clean the video. We do appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's help a brother out. Helps me out. Groceries are tough nowadays, man. Just, just like it. It gives me goddamn food. Reggie, if it weren't for you, I think I'd lose my mind. I know I'm meant to be more than a wait a minute. Security guard with a keen interest in birds. Aren't these the superheroes? Okay, what was that leap, bro? You were already a superhero. Reggie, no. You've got to help him. He saved my life. This dog isn't dying on my watch. And he did not. I'm pretty sure that's the, the robotic dog, right? Hi, gang. Welcome to my new humble abode. Humble? Gee, first Fred, you're living in a van down by the river. And loving it. Besides. Yeah, true, true. But he's been here before. <laughs> well, as much as we'd love to stay, Bemo wants us down at City Hall ASAP. I still don't know why he doesn't just stay in his house. It's his house. I've cobbled together a rudimentary player for the planospheric disc. The sooner we find out what this is supposed to do, are we sure that's we'll that's safe? The of the cursed treasure. It always says that, bro. That came from the records room. Gang, look. Yankees. I can't believe it. Batman? It's oh. Blue Falcon. Dynamite. Dog Wonder. Dog Wonder. Let's make this dragon scream. Whatever you say, BF. Can't say I fully endorse the concept of a mass vigilante. Velma, he's a superhero with a belt full of traps. Oh, never mind. Never mind. He's he, he's that. He's that guy. <laughs> Damn, he's just punching metal too? Huh? Oh. Uh, guys, guy running out of batteries or what? You're my hero. Yeah, like me and Scoob watch you guys on the news all the time. We solve mysteries and catch bad guys just like you. We've been tracking that dragon creature in hopes it would lead us to its evil master. Well, Masked Man, Crystal Cove is our turf. You want a mystery solved and a villain unmasked? You talk to us. Oh, okay. Very well. But you should know that should I need to sacrifice any of you to get my prey, I'll gladly do it. Yeah, okay. All right, man. Whatever you say. Fred, your ascots are just filthy. Sorry, Daph. The guy living on the edge just can't afford the niceties. Wants to, I don't know, visit by herself. Well, uh, Man. I suppose I could. I don't know. Out of the back seat to make Maybe go. He can go to your house. <laughs> but I do have some mad skills of my own. And from the looks of things, so does our dragon. He was going through old sales records of all Crystal Cove businesses. Yeah, I take it you've had dealings with this vile corporation before, which is why I think we should take point on this one. And oh, under. yeah, take point. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, my man. When you do a backflip, grab missiles, and throw it back at somebody, then you can take point. To be fair, I would have liked to see how Fred and them would have took point on this one. Because <laughs> I don't think they're doing this. Damn! Can't help 
wondering what it accomplished. My thoughts exactly, Velma. A guilty man's bones snap like twigs beneath the grip of justice. Thank you. Threat him more, because he likes to threaten kids. Unless perhaps I would be willing to tell you what I know in exchange for a certain planisphere. Oh, if you don't shut the hell up. Nothing doing, E. We can do this the easy way. Thank you. Me too, honestly. You said dental? Oh wait, that's not hard. That is impossible. Like you're trying to kill a man, torture a man. Okay, Mister, he's in charge. He, this is his problem or whatever. He's doing something. This is probably his robot. Cause no idiot in their right mind will run towards that thing. That voice could it be sin? So Blue Falcon has discovered I controlled the dragon, but he is too. I have no idea what this is. Long last, I have discovered the location of the Quest X power source. Okay, uh, buddy, you got Scooby Doo. Your robot can't tell what another robot is? <laughs> you expect me to talk simply because you're threatening me with your agonizer ray? <laughs> agonizer ray? I know that the Quest X power source is hidden within this animal. Tell me how to retrieve it or I shall activate the beam. Bro, that's not even his dog, bro. How the have you not noticed? But you said you would do anything. Sacrifice anything to save your dog. I would. But that's not my dog. All right, E. No more Mr. Nice Mystery Ink Teen. Okay, okay. All I know is when I bought Quest Industries, there was an asset listed as the Quest X Power Source. He loaded his belt constantly. Volcano Island? Funny. You'd think we'd know about a smoking volcano so close to our town. Hey, the Blue Falcon Mobile? The Falcon Car. Okay, well, my name was better. My dog. I'm driving. Full body scan on dog shows same as before. License plate. Uh, How? Picture of teenage boy. But no Quest X power source. Be strong, my dragon. I now know the dog we're after. The cape should have been a tip off. Yes, it probably should have been. So I'm assuming he just needs the, the power source to power his dragon thingy that he's has an affection towards, like it's his pet or something. I don't even know how. Excellent. My dragon. Hey. I'd be so sure about that if I was you, Sin. Mystery Incorporated. You're alive? Damn, you know them? Damn, Shaggy? Bro, if I'm a super villain, I, I hired goons, henchmen, and they're getting dropped by teenagers, I might be a little bit too damn heated. Damn. Wait, did she say 27? Damn. How, why do you need that many rooms? Damn, Shaggy. No, your henchmen have failed you. Straight trash. It's all your fault. My fault. She what I do, I hadn't a clue. Bradley, I was able to replace most of Reggie's damaged body parts with robotic replacements. It looks like the whole dog got replaced, bro. But Dino Mutt wasn't the only cyborg created in that explosion. Was he, Dr. Zen? No. So precious was this invention, I trusted only one person to test it. My own daughter. The accident fused the suit to Jenny. What? I don't even know what to say, bro. That, like, brain-wise, that, that's never smart. I had no idea. Oh, my goodness gracious. Why didn't you say so? Never too busy to help a fellow cyborg with a jump start. <laughs> Wait, are you also telling me this all could have been avoided if he just asked? 
hot dog, meddling kids, man in bird suit, you have Kay. my thanks. I have spent so many years pursuing my evil plan of global domination. Wait, what? <laughs> what did you say? It's a pity you must all now be destroyed as this island explodes with the fury of a thousand suns. Or oh, whatever, bro. Y'all have 40 minutes here to shoot a rocket or something, a uh, uh, falcon ray. Like. Hopefully, break his legs. Would you give it a rest? Zim isn't all that bad. Yeah. Not all that bad. He just tried to blow you up two seconds ago after you saved his daughter. This man is you know, like, oh, you saved my, my the love of my life, my daughter. I love her so much. Now I'm gonna try to kill you. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not with you. I'm not with you, Shaggy. Hell no. Hell, I'm breaking his legs on sight. On a sight, I'm breaking his goddamn legs, bro. He tried to kill you multiple times. Multiple times. He's not that bad. Had the same had the same exact comments to Mr. E, Professor Pericles, the ex-mayor, or all of those. Cause they're not that bad. They haven't did much. They're not real common criminals. They haven't killed nobody. They're if if you're comparing it to this guy, they're not that bad. They're just doing it for something they love. So What's the big deal? Your parents sent you to military school because they love you. What's the big deal? <laughs> like, what? No, no, bro. This guy's a straight villain. <laughs> I was rocking with him until he said, oh, now I'm going to kill you guys again. I'm like, yeah, I forgive him for the first time trying to kill y'all. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay, he was looking for his daughter. Uh, kind of understandable, man. Maybe he's going to change his way. Maybe he's going to live a good life. Nope. He instantly doubled down and said, no, I'm, I'm a true super villain, bro. You thought this was sweet. No, I'm going to kill you guys. All right, man. Are we for real? Uh, seeing the Falcon, though, it's basically no offense to anybody, but it's basically Batman. All right, good to see him, bro. Uh, we got action, him boxing that uh, it out. Uh, he's getting up there in age. So I'm shocked he's still doing this. Like, damn, bro, he haven't found like a replacement. <laughs> like, soon these these maneuvers aren't going to be working anymore. But then he showed up to destroy them and drop a good 50 goddamn people. I'm like, oh, damn. Actually, man, he might be in the prime of his life. <laughs> I still don't know how the Scooby-Doo gang showed up and beat up that much henchmen. Maybe these guys are different. Uh, maybe we need better henchmen. I, it, it could be a toss-up of either or. Uh, and honestly, I don't know. Maybe both. But a great episode. Thank you guys for uh, watching. I really appreciate it. Catch you guys next time. Another video. Peace, peace, bye, bye. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Maybe we can save enough money to fund this man Fred's a new home. This man is living in a van. He's worse off than me.